Say, say, you be jar, lolly fenty, and your money boy, you didn't 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 the rise in food prices, which has largely contributed to the country's inflation this year, shows no signs of slowing down any time soon. In July of 2022, food inflation alone increased to over 32%, a situation that many Ghanaians say is worrisome. Wholesale traders at the Okaishu Market in Accra's Central Business District tell me that in the last few weeks alone, the prices of goods such as rice and oil have gone up drastically, and these increments sometimes occur on a daily basis. It was stable for a while. Then just last two weeks, the increments started coming. So let's say for the past two weeks, almost every week we've been increasing it. Um, last two weeks, it was one. 45 yeah then this morning we are now selling it at 2.7 that's 270 wow, that, that's a lot yeah. what what would you say is accounting for this increment in prices i can't i can't be specific but i'm sure uh, it's because of the inflation and then the rising of the dollar very much because anytime they walk in they've been complaining like um, a customer will plan coming to buy 10 of the buckets but when the person walks in and the price has been increased instead of 10 the person has to reduce and buy either seven so uh, it's even affecting our sales yeah I am concerned about it because looking at in recent times sales have dropped drastically because of inflation and uh, for instance this milo drink you were pointing at we used to sell it as at december for 98 cities um for 98 cities as at december 2021 and then now it has gone up by i think uh, 57 cities now we are selling it at 155 it's just a milo drink milk milo like everything only this year alone prices has been increased we are just in august right and then price has been increased for about six times. So con consumers and customers keep complaining here and there. They come, there is a difference in prices all the time. They are unable to sell it as how they used to sell it frequently at first. Um, so of late, there were, there were shortages in items. And then when it came, prices have increased. Now, milk that we used to sell it at 84 cities last year, now it's costing 125 cities. It has, got, it has gone up drastically, so customers are complaining. I'm going to say oil, um, gallon, yellow gallon. Uh -huh. Between last year and this year, how much has the price gone up? Between last year and this year, it has gone up to 300,000. It's been up to 300,000. It's been up to 300,000. It's been Omono de day in a day out no mutum. And I day china de sa no mutum. O we bet na better this is your better than no haba near satsu. Sanet in tenu de price ni shed down ye fix to say abia oil no sa aha. Na ya day in tina mwa mutan de nana mo mo kamu tibum kata wene ye be two price ni mwa na se da be in to me nye sa se omo mo mani nya mani de di fiya mano ne bano. We saw more than dollar question. In the dollar, no more do find. They said dollar question. So we saw more than two million. So we saw more than two million. So we saw more than eighty thousand. So we saw more than just last week. Angwa, now we turn one point three. Dollar three. Dollar case. Yellow one. Seven. But this week we call a four point seven. Too much. While traders are worried about the impact of food inflation on their businesses, buyers have also expressed concern about the frequent increment of food prices. The prices have really gone up. Um, I remember she sent me the prices yesterday. And then this morning when I came, it had gone up again. I was like... How, how much was it previously? It was 240 Then it went to 260 Then it went to 270 Yes. It's like every time you come... the the price is going up every time, going up. So what do you do when you come and the price has shot up? It's either you 
buy less than what you want to buy. Or if the supplier will be kind enough to give it to you, then come and pay back later. Or you would have to reduce the amount you add to the whole processing. But then that will reduce the quality. So it's either you compromise or you raise the price. How are customers taking it? I mean, because it's like any time they come, the price has gone up or the size has reduced or the quality has been low. It's either they are like, hey, and then what's our tomb? Meanwhile, it's not your fault. So when you try to explain, they either go away, then they'll go around, ask if the prices are okay, they'll come back to you. If not, then 